Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0 Day 1. Today, we're going to do a little bit of groundwork to lay the foundation for many of the aspects that we use inside Command, specifically with regards to our marketing profile and the information about ourselves as an agent. There's three different places that we're gonna update that in. And the first one is going to be inside command here. So if we click on the drop down arrow next to our name and get into the settings menu, that's the first marketing profile that we need to work on. So if we come over to connect settings here on the left hand side, you're going to see that we have marketing profile as an option. So I want you to click on marketing profile and then we're gonna scroll through and make sure that all of this content is appropriately filled out. So first of all, if you have a headshot or a professional photo of yourself, you wanna make sure that that photo gets loaded in. If you're on a team, you can put a team logo here. If not, do not click on this button. You wanna just go ahead and leave that alone. Next, you're gonna fill in all of your details. So first, last, license number, your team name, title, your slogan. If you have any designations or credentials, you'll drop those in here as well. Next up, if you are a part of the military, we do have one of our communities is KW Military, and we definitely want to know if you are a part of that community. Uh, you do have several options when you click on this drop down box. So whether you're active duty, reserves, a veteran or a spouse, uh, you definitely want to select that. Once one of these has been selected, you'll have an additional drop down to select the branch in which you served. In addition, you want to get your bio filled out here, your phone number, your office number, your email and websites, and then you want to get all of your brokerage information filled out as well. So your market center logo here, your market center name, office phone number and address as well. Finally, if you have any legal footers for compliance, you're probably going to want to get with your independent uh, market center leadership team to find out what they would like placed here. And then if you have any socials, you could drop in all of your social channels on this page as well. So this is the first page you really want to focus on getting completely filled out. It'll take a little bit of time if you're new, uh, but go through and make sure that all of that information has been filled out again underneath the connect settings marketing profile. In addition, we want to come to kwconnect.com. You're going to log into KW Connect using the same username and password that you use to log into Command. And from here, you want to click on your photo and then click on My Profile here as well. So there are a few pieces of data that are pulled from your KW Connect profile. So when you come in, uh, this banner in the background is custom. This headshot is custom. You can edit the profile by clicking on Edit My Profile and then choosing to upload your headshot or your custom banner image. You can hover over the eye and it'll even tell you what size that banner image should be. And then make sure from there that you've got your email, phone number, mobile phone, any service areas that you pro uh, provide service to, you wanna make sure that those are filled out, your bio, and then again, your socials here. Finally, you wanna make sure that your market center is selected. And then if you have any updates inside of your Connect profile, people uh, tagging you, people you know, friend, uh, sending you requests, et cetera, you can decide how you want to receive those updates. At the very bottom here, you're gonna see some yes, no sliders with regards to different information in your profile. My opinion is that the more information in your profile, the better, but I can understand as a brand new agent, you might not wanna have you know, zero units showing in your profile you can decide if you do or don't want each one of those items showing on your profile. You would click update to update your connect profile. The final profile you want to make sure that you have updated is what we call your white pages profile. And that is underneath mykw.kw.com. Again, the same username and password. This is the last site we want to make sure is updated. We're going to do that by clicking on profile. And from there, it's going to load our personal profile. We want to make sure that our agent photo has been uploaded, that all of our information for our MLS is correct. And then you can scroll down through here and make sure that all of your information is up to date inside of your white pages profile. A lot of this is built out initially when you are onboarded. However, not all of it. Uh, I have seen some gaps from time to time. 
so make sure that you have got as many of these pieces of information as filled out. Um, I will tell you occasionally some of, especially the social profile doesn't work. Like I have a YouTube channel, uh, but when you click on the help article, you find out that from my KW, the social profile link actually doesn't work anymore. So it's no longer an active field. However, I do have that YouTube link inside of my marketing profile. So I'm good to go as far as that is. So that is your homework, kind of your assignment for day one. We want to go into KW Command, Settings, Marketing Profile. Make sure this is all filled out completely. We want to go into KW Connect and My Profile and then click Edit My Profile to make sure all of this is correct. And then we want to go into My KW, click on Profile inside of My KW and make sure all of this information is also correct. If you have any questions about what should or shouldn't be included, missing pieces of information, your best bets are always to really reach out to either your market center tech trainer, your market center team leader, um, perhaps even your market center MCA, a great resource as well. They can kind of help you make sure that all of that information is filled out. Really important because we're gonna use that, all of that information that you just put in, in almost everything we do moving forward inside of command. So it's great to have that groundwork laid and so that you know how to make any edits if you update your headshot if you join a team in the future if you get some additional accreditations whatever it may be you now know how to make sure that that is all updated so if you are an agent you've been with us for a while it might be a good idea to come through here and just double check to make sure all of your information is as up to date as possible as well that's it for today guys hope you're having a fantastic day and as always i'll look forward to seeing you again real soon